All Bladebridge configurations are funded by partners on behalf of end-user projects and are not an endorsement by Bladebridge or its team members. Hello and welcome to the presentation of Bladebridge Converter. In this session, I will demo conversions from data stage to Matillion, running on Snowflake and on Databricks. Um, in order to execute Converter, we need to open up command line. Converters can be executed from Windows prompt or Linux prompt. Uh, this is my conversion package. In this package, I have an exported data stage job that looks like this. So it has a couple of sources, one and two, a couple of transforms, a sorter, and several targets, plus an aggregator. Uh, within transforms, there are data stage expressions and, and data stage functions being used, such as days since from date and some other functions. So the converter will convert those expressions into Matillion code uh, for uh, either Snowflake or Databricks. All right, so in order to execute the converter, what I need to do is um, just kick off the executable called ds to Matillion. If I kick off this executable without command line arguments, the converter will give me help and will stop. All right, so I need to provide all the arguments that I have in my sample converter configuration. So I'll provide the license file name, the input file containing data stage XML file, which is this. So the data stage job actually does need to be imported, uh, exported, an output folder into which converter will write out the uh, converted job, the config file, which is very important. I'm going to go into that in a few minutes. And a system config file that um, tells the date stage reader how to parse out uh, date stage metadata. All right, so I can just go ahead and execute that bat file, ds to metal underscore sf example. My output folder is metal output. Currently the folder is empty. It takes just several seconds to run the converter and the converter will produce a JSON file that's importable into Matillion. Besides generating JSON files, the converter can optionally generate DDLs for intermediary stages of processing. So for example, if you're picking up your data from uh, flat file sources or writing out to, to files, you can tell the converter, you can configure the converter actually to uh, generate not only the transformation job but also the orchestration job in Matillion and use um, load and unload uh, components to get the data into Snowflake or Databricks and out of these platforms. Okay. So now I have the JSON file generated. I'm going to take this path, go into my Matillion environment. So I'm generating metadata for Matillion running on Snowflake, but in a few minutes I'll generate the same conversion for, I'll run the same conversion for Matillion for Databricks. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and import the metadata. I'm selecting the file. The converter created, as I mentioned earlier, two jobs, the, or, uh, the transformation job and the orchestration job. I'm going to go ahead and import them both into Matillion. My orchestration job looks like this. So the converter will pick up metadata details such as table truncation instructions or any pre um, any pre-SQL or before SQL and any after SQL that the original job may have and plug those into the orchestration layer of Matillion. It will then execute the actual transformation job, which is this one. And within the transformation job, we will have the transformational logic. The converter will replicate the flow of the job and will convert every component that the original job had into Matillion equivalents. 
So for example, if I go back into the original code and open up this transform where I have where I have the function day since from date in Matillion for Snowflake, this function will be expressed as date diff with a signature changes, function signature changes. So the first argument would be uh, the day specification, current date, and then the the last argument is the higher date. Um, so the flow continues all the way into the targets. You can control whether the target should be updated or uh, rows should be insert, inserted into the target. Besides replicating the uh, transformation pipeline, the converter will also pick up annotations in, in, in the date stage job basically comments and plug them into the generated Matillion job. Now, I can also run the same conversion, but for Matillion running on Databricks. And in order for me to do that, I can use the same executable, but instead of specifying this config file, which I'm going to go into in a bit, I can specify another config file, DS Matillion Data Lake. Um, and the converter will generate the metadata that's compatible with Matillion running on, the, on Data Lake um, and Databricks. All right, so DS Metal DL example. That's the execute. That's the shell script I'm going to run. And in my output folder, I'll just suffix this with SF for Snowflakes. So I don't confuse the two files. I'm going to run the converter. And I'll get new file generated. By the way, the converter will warn about some of the things that it finds. So for example, it, it found that the link DS link 17 was used twice and it will be automatically re renamed. Um, this is not a fatal error. The converter will continue working on this, but sometimes it is useful to get this um, warning messages uh, in case you need to go back to the original job and, and trace um, the components and links. All right, so I'm going to go back into my web browser. I'm going to switch to Matillion for data late on Databricks and do the import. and I'm importing this file. Now, these, the jobs between Matillion for Snowflake and Matillion for Databricks will have uh, the same structure, but the expressions will be converted differently. So for example, if I open up the same expression for days employed, my expression for Databricks looks like this, day diff with two arguments as opposed to uh, the version for Matillion on Snowflake where day diff ha takes three arguments with a day specification. Now, the way you control how the translations take place is all through JSON config files. Our config files are open. They're externalized, so the users can adjust the patterns and um, can have a direct say in how the conversion should take place. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, open up a couple of config files. So let's, let's start with this one. All right, so my config files live here. And uh, typically when we ship the converters, we provide all the config files and all the configurations for different editions for Matillion. So I'm going to find the Matillion for Data Lake config file. So in this file, we can specify uh, how the conversion should take place, what environment we're targeting, whether it's um, Del Delta Lake, Snowflake, Redshift, etc. Uh, we can also tell the converter how far apart to, to um, plot out the components, so depending on 
on some of the coding patterns of how things are in date stage, you may select um, you know, that the converter outputs the nodes far, uh, far apart from each other or, or close. It really depends on the implementation and the preference of the conversion team. You can also tell the converter how to create orchestration jobs, basically what triggers orchestration jobs. So for example, I can tell the converter that whenever I have sources of flat file, that should trigger what we call derived orchestration jobs. Or if we have target Amazon S3 components, all, all these uh, events will trigger orchestration jobs for the converter. Um, you can also template out the names of orchestration jobs, um, and uh, there, there are quite a few um, configuration options that you can play around with to get the patterns to to um, adhere to the enterprise or to, to project standards. Now, one of the things that the converters uh, converted config file has is references to other config files. So, for example, if you're converting from combination of data stage and Oracle into um, Delta Lake um, Databricks, you can tell the converter how to penetrate the embedded SQL and convert that to um, to um, Databricks or to Snowflake. Similarly, you can have an entry which is called ETL converter config file that points to conversions that have to do with data stage language. So if I open up this file, data stage to data lake, I'll open actually both files. So the first one is conversions for data stage language, expression language to data lake Databricks. The other one is data stage to SnowSQL. So the, uh, the example function that I was showing, day since from date, for Snowflake, we tell the converter to, out, to use this template as the output. Date diff, constant over day, argument one, argument two. For Databricks, we tell the converter to take the same function and convert that to date diff with two arguments. So you, as you can see, you can swap around the position of arguments. This function calls can be nested. The converter will handle those without any issues. Um, so just to recap, uh, I ran the converter, the same converter, and converted my original data stage job into Matillion running on Snowflake and Matillion running on Databricks. Uh, and the way I was able to, to uh, control the flavors of Matillion and the underlying syntax is by providing the correct config files that tell the converter how to interpret the data stage syntax and convert that correctly into the target uh, combination of technologies. Thank you for joining today's session.